Yeah, Rob Gravett, British touring car legend. Um, how good is it to be back in a, in a racing paddock after, you know, the winter months and, you know, we're out here having fun again? Well, it's, uh, it's really good, actually. It's a bit more um, uh, awe-inspiring in terms of looking at my son in the car. Yeah. Um, I, I had to speak to my father about it, actually, because it's, when I was in the car, I didn't have any fear at all. But now I've got the fear for him um, because it's your baby. I mean, he's not a baby now, obviously. Uh, but uh, in all seriousness, no, it's fantastic to be around it. It's good to see him developing the way he's developing. Um, and particularly yesterday and today, he's had two very good races. And his best result yesterday, as I think he may have mentioned to you earlier on. So that's quite good. And he's on the pace. That's the good thing about it. These are very difficult cars to drive. They're not easy cars to drive. Some of the touring car guys have been in them. And they say that they're far more difficult than the actual touring car. So if you can drive one of these, you can jump into a touring car. And that's the sort of plan for the future. If he gets some results in this, then he will eventually go to touring cars. Absolutely. Now, we're starting the season here at Donington Park. Um, you've obviously had lots of experience here in the past. Um, how would you sum up this circuit to drive? Fast. <laughs> it's very fast. Um, very long, um, fast-flowing corners. I mean, the crane of curves, uh, that gets your attention going down there. Um, I had a big crash here, actually, when Wingerhock took me out just after where Nigel Mansell crashed, and I hit the barrier about 130 miles an hour. They reckon it dead stopped in about six feet, and I saw stars for for a whole week after that. Um, but no, I've had some good results here. I've had some few wins here, which is good, isn't it? Um, I think he likes the circuit. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great to watch as well, isn't it? You can see quite a lot if you yeah. hit yourself over the back. Um, and it, there are some overtaking places as well, but you have to be very committed down around here. To be fast, you really have to be committed because it's high speed stuff. And if you get it wrong, well, you, sort of, you end up somewhere you don't necessarily want to be. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Now, obviously, final question, mini challenge. Um, how great of a championship is this as a stepping stone into British Touring Cars and lots of the other championships um, up the ladder? Well, that's a really good question, actually. I mean, Bradley wants to go to Touring Cars, uh, and, and maybe there's partly because I, I was uh, running in Touring Cars. I don't think that should be the only reason. I don't think it is the only reason. But if you're going to be competitive, there's no point in going to a, a, a weak championship. This is a very, very strong championship. And the guys that are running at the front, they want to be in touring cars. Yeah. Um, it's not a million miles off to, in terms of uh, speed-wise. I mean, they're only around here about two and a half seconds off the touring cars. Yeah. So when you think about it, and, and that's in a car that is probably more recalcitrant than, than a touring car would be yeah. because you've got suspension that moves a little bit in these cars they're very short wheelbase so I think it's a very good uh, feeder uh, 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 car situation mm -hmm. to go into touring cars and as I say there's no point in cutting corners when, when he originally started racing he did carts we put him straight into super one we didn't go through the club route yeah. and he got knocked about heavily there he got knocked about heavily here last year um, but you have to learn like that. You know, if you're going to run with the, with the quick boys, you have to, you, you just got to get your out sh shoulders out a little bit yeah. and, and make sure that they understand that, no, you can't do this, and yes, you can do that, if you know what I mean. Um, so I think it's a great series. I, I think they, they've done a fantastic job with these cars. There's a few weak points on the cars. Gearboxes aren't brilliant, um, but they're running about 285 horsepower. So, yeah. you know, power to weight ratio, it's a lot of power in a very short way at wheelbase car so you have to have your wits about you all the time absolutely well thank you very much for the interview and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of the weekend thank you very much thank you